Text your girlfriends, I am your girlfriend, and let them know that she is live, buddy. I am here for the shit, buddy. Brooklyn, listen, Brooklyn, shut the fuck up, okay? I'm not putting on no face. I'm not putting on no wig. I'm not putting on none of that shit, bitch, okay? Fuck out of here. Like, really, why? For what? Okay? I am, like, I'm not, I'm, yo, everybody that's new that's following me here, you can always follow me here on this page, so when I do go live and I'm here for the shit, um, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at J-U-Triple-S-K-E-L-L-Y, yo, thanks, yeah, I have to get my nails done, honey. I think it's the nails, uh, the nails, the feet, the eyebrows. I had to get all of that done. But 
This is another installment of Petty Mondays. And I'm not here for the shit, honey. Gravy. Do y'all like my new color in my room? Do y'all like my new color? I changed my nails. I changed my room color and everything. Y'all like my new color? I got my little design back there and stuff and shit like that. But, yo, like, I'm not... Yo, Brooklyn, because, yo, you got those... Yo, stop playing with me, son. Stop playing with me, for real. Yo, listen. Hey, Snooki. Yo, I am just like, it's just so much that, like, you know... I don't know why. I should, honey. Yeah, no head shaking tonight. I should be like, yo. I should be ecstatic right now. I should be through the roof and everything right now. But I don't know. I'm cr why are you crying, Brooklyn? I'm just. My son painted my room, Neptune. My son. My son painted my room. Um. Uh, that uh Belinda is right Belinda I'm uh Belinda is right here tonight. Here's Belinda. You know, all I'm naming all my different I'm naming all my different uh units that I'm getting made after my aunts. So this is my first uh my first unit that I got made and her name is Belinda and she's named after my aunt Belinda. I'm gonna get my new unit made when my new here come and stuff. And I'm going to name her after one of my other aunts, Sunny. And so I have all my units made that's going to be named after all my aunts. But I just was not in, uh, I was just not in a space tonight to, uh, you know, I didn't even tag nobody in this video, okay? I really was not going, I really was not going to come on live tonight. I was just going to do the show. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, welcome to the uh, to the airwaves. The legendary Jason Bridges is live on the airwaves with us. Hey, Jason. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Mm. What happened? Diamond thing. What is that diamond thing on your wall? Sh well, Jason. Hey. Jason. Hey. If hey. I need to get into that wall. Move, move, move to the left. I need to get into that wall. I can't hear you. Can you see me? I can see you now. All right, all right for the diamond. Yes, that's where it goes down. Underneath the diamond. So, <laughs> no. Yeah, so, right, the diamond is supposed to be, the diamond is actually, you know, I left out today. I left out today, and I wanted to, um, I wanted to pick the tape up for the diamond because I knew the size of the diamond. I knew. Listen, I'm not doing this. Listen, hold on. I'm not doing this with Brooklyn. Hold on, Jason. Jason, talk to Brooklyn for me. Jason, hold on, Jason. Mona, what is your problem, girl? What did you give him? What's about getting to her face? What's wrong with her face? Jason, hold on, Jason. Hold on for a minute, Jason. Talk to Brooklyn for a moment, Jason. Uh, you talk to everybody, Jason, for a second. Where is you, Marcus? I see you, but why haven't you pressed one? What is going on, everybody? Are you ready for Thanksgiving? What's the day? Okay, wait a minute. Why is it stop? So what's going on? Chuck right like a diamond. That's, please let her do her face. Leave her face alone, girl. There's nothing wrong with her face. She can be washed face. You are trying it on her time. You are trying it. Um, no new friends. Please stop sending me friend requests. No new friends. Oh, well, girls, blocking me. Good. That's wonderful. I like to be blocked. Um, Marcus, why aren't you here? You need to report for work. You know what's going to happen. Wash the face, bitch. That's what I said. Wash the face. 
You're gonna make her come back every. I'm always here. Hey, Miss Smith. Girl, what are you over in that room doing? What's popping in here? It's been a while for me. What's going on, everyone? Okay, I'm back, honey. Brooklyn, is honey, this? No, you can send you can send a friend request, but just inbox me so that I know that you are a real person because I be getting these friend requests from like these these bots and stuff. Okay, Brooklyn, is that better? Is that better for you, Brooklyn? I love y'all the way from Philly. Hey, um, Miss Crosby, how are you? Brooklyn, I love that. I love that color. Thank you, Brooklyn. Is that better for you, Brooklyn? I need to know. It's to answer your question, I don't need to be legendary for a category. I'm legendary for being the only person that could come into this radio, to this radio thing, and hold it down for seven motherfucking years. That's why I'm motherfucking legendary. What the fuck are you legendary for? Brooklyn, is this better for you, Brooklyn? Okay, thank you. Okay, child. Girl, like, really? Like, why? Why can't I just be me? Honey, like, why could it just be me? Girl, like, what? Like, for real? Shit. But, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Welcome to the air, the up and coming legendary ball promoter, Marcus Escada. Kelly, 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 we're going to take all those titles away. We're really going to stop calling them that, okay? Yeah, because now everybody can be legendary. I just want to be a statement. Well, baby, uh, listen, if you want to be a legend, you can be a legend. I can be a legend. You can, Everybody can be a legend, honey. What? I don't, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. So. What's going on? Jason, don't be calling me to work like that, okay? So, okay, so I, I had to I, go, you know, Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn well, was. Peter, so, yeah, you know what happened the last time we decided to come on at nine thirty. You know, Brooklyn was highly up. Brooklyn was highly upset. I guess because I got the brighter color, you can really get into my face more now. You know, when the room was real dark with the blue, you couldn't really get into you know my face like that. Now I guess so. Brooklyn got into me, honey. You know, I guess that now that the room is lighter. And I got the new white, white ceiling, honey. You can get into me more. So Brooklyn wanted me to put on a little, you know, something. So I stepped away from the camera. And I told y'all, I told y'all, a bitch can do her whole face and request the Uber, bitch, in the time that the Uber says. Six minutes, a bitch can have a whole face on beat, nose, contoured, and all of that. Just that fast. Hey, Naima. Hey, Keith, bitch, you know. So... But um, I I have I didn't speak I haven't spoken to Jason I haven't spoken to Jason or Marcus you know today since I got my since I got the call that I got this afternoon I should be like I should be like really excited right now but I'm just like I don't know why I'm not like you know I'm not excited like I'm not like. I was excited earlier. I'm really not into. I'm really not into doing a live tonight. But oh girl, what call did you get this afternoon? Uh, I got the. I got the call. I got a call. I got a call this afternoon. But you know, I should be excited and everything. I have my um. I have my surgery date. I know what day that I'm going. I know what day that I'm going into surgery. They caught me today. And All right, well, that's yes, girl. That's what we've been waiting for. Yeah, they called me today. They, they called me today, and they uh, and they gave me my um, they gave me my surgery date for my first surgery. So my first surgery, my first surgery is going to be my breast augmentation. My second surgery is going to be my um, my facial fem, which is going to be my nose. I'm getting my nose done again. I'm getting my jawline done, and I'm getting my brow bone done. Uh, my brow bone done. I should be excited, but I'm not like I'm not I'm not excited. I was excited earlier, but I'm not like you know I'm not excited. I'm just like. Was it too excited? You didn't call me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just said that she didn't call us. Yeah, because you know I was just sitting here and I was just saying like I was gonna do the show and I was just gonna do I was just gonna do the phones and I wasn't going to um and do the live or nothing and so that's why I didn't like you know. 
do nothing to my face or anything. I just paid it, like, you know, and and shit like that. And so, but you know, I'll tell y'all, we'll, I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all the date. I'll tell, we'll talk about the date after, uh, after the show. We'll talk about the date, honey. So, you know. So, yeah, when you get a triple bypass. First of all, Obamacare ain't covering all of that. Thank you very much. Oh, baby, Obamacare is covering all of that, honey. Obamacare, Obamacare, yes. Thank you, congratulations, and thank you to Obamacare. Obamacare is covering taking this industrial silicone out of my breasts, okay? Obamacare is covering putting this, uh, pulling the gummy bears, uh, 800 cc's in my breasts. Obamacare is paying for me to get my jaw shaved down, my nose done, my brow bone done. Yes, congratulations to Obamacare, bitch. Obamacare is paying for everything that she needs to get done, honey, to her face, to her tits. The body, I got to pay for that myself. Obamacare doesn't pay for that, honey, okay, bitch? But, oh, yeah, I'm here for the shit. You're allowed to go make a live about you reading you. Well, listen, so we're going to talk about everything that has happened over the weekend, like the different posts that was on Facebook, the different balls and things and sh nature of that stuff that happened. I'm I'm excited on the inside. I'm not showing that I'm excited, but I'm excited on the inside. But what I'm not excited, what I'm not excited about, and I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to keep it funky with y'all, and I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it really funky with y'all and everything. You know, because I'm a real bitch and real bitches do real things. I'm not excited. I'm not excited to um sit here and make lives and entertain the children for free anymore. Okay? And I'm going to keep it funky with y'all, honey. Okay? Because I'm a real bitch. And nobody else will keep it real with y'all. I'm a real bitch. Um, I will do my lives on Monday nights for the radio show. But after after Monday nights, I will do lives when I decide to do lives. So nobody hits me up and asks me about doing lives and all of those things anymore because it's not going to be ever alive like every time something happens in ballroom. It's going to go back to if somebody else talks about it, they talk about it, and I'll recap it on Monday. Facebook has took advertisement away from everybody. I guess it was just a trial thing that they was doing and stuff like that, bitch. So my free time is my free time. I don't get paid for my free time to come and sit up here and act like a uh, a raven lunatic and a, a buffoon, bitch, for free. I just don't. I don't do it anymore, honey. I did it for many years uh, on YouTube and things and entertained the girls and brung the viewers and the audience and stuff, bitch. But I just, I just can't do, I just can't do it anymore, honey, okay, bitch? I'm on a fixed income and like the, uh, like the person, um, Whoever it is that keep trying to spill my tea and all types of things about the things that I'm doing and things and stuff like that. I'm on a fixed income, honey. I get my food stamps. I get my cash from welfare every two weeks, bitch, okay? The little uh, income that I was getting for Facebook, it did help me out, baby. So I'm not going to be sitting here doing all of these lives and doing all of these crazy things, honey, for free, bitch, okay? A bitch is on a fixed income, honey, and I got to pay rent. I got a motherfucking pay your phone bill, honey, okay? Congratulations to me. I finally own an iPhone that I actually paid for. I paid off I paid off my iPhone today for $12. I had $12 left on my 24-month uh, installment of my iPhone. So it is actually mine. I actually bought a phone for the first time in motherfucking... The first time in 17 years, I actually bought something, Okay? So, bitch, honey, yes, team iPhone. I finally bought something that is mine, bitch. So, okay. So, you know, that's why I won't be doing uh lives like that, bitch, honey. You know, I got to uh I got to find something to do in my free time, honey, bitch, you know, and shit like that, honey. I might have to go out here, you know. I might have to go out here and post up, honey, or hit the stroll or something, bitch, for a bitch to make a little extra change and shit, but stay. Y'all know that little six, seven hundred dollars Facebook was giving a bitch every month came in handy on top of her, on top of her food stamps, and saying her cash that they was giving her. You know, that little five, six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars that was Kelly, coming Kelly, through, you know. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. What? 
as your legal advisor, I would suggest you not say that online. Why? Technically. Uh, you don't want, um, you don't want nobody going back and reporting. They can report me to welfare, bitch. I'm a motherfucker. I signed the motherfucking, I signed the motherfucking, uh, W-9, bitch, okay? I signed the W-9, bitch. They got my social security number, bitch. Welfare knows, bitch, that I was getting texts from you too, bitch. I signed the W-9. I got it in my computer, bitch, okay? Whenever I do anything, bitch, I signed the W-9 with my name and social security number, bitch. So I ain't doing nothing illegal, bitch, that welfare don't know about, bitch. Please. Okay, Big Frida. Yeah, bitch. I'm not Big Frida, bitch. I motherfucking, I do my shit illegal, bitch. I signed it, bitch. They know, bitch, okay? Now, if they come and they take taxes or do whatever they got to do, that's on they point, honey. But when I gave them that social security number, da 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 but I send Facebook my W-9. I send YouTube my W-9, bitch. When I go and I do these motherfucking conferences and things, bitch, and they giving a the girl a stipend and they want a W-9, bitch, I send them my W-9 with my name, my social security number, my address on it. Well, they got to do their motherfucking job and recoup their motherfucking shit, bitch. Not me, bitch. I won't be a big freedom, bitch. They won't have Big Kelly in jail, bitch, because Kelly did her part, bitch, okay? They going to have that caseworker in jail, bitch, if they ain't doing what they got to do up there at the Hamilton Center. Bitch, I ain't here for the shit. Okay? Right, they going to lower and heal you. They can lower and heal me, bitch. I ain't playing with them bad Chinese, okay? Shit. But, yeah. So, um, let's talk about it, honey, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, before well, we get... Naima, did you go... Did Naima go to the ball in Baltimore? Can she come yes, on? Naima went to the ball in Baltimore. Naima, are you home for work, Naima? Or are you at work, Naima? Oh, happy weekend. Yes, my last four, the last four digits of my social security number is 4444. Okay? Bitch, 4444. That's the last four digits of my social security number, bitch. I'm here for the shit, bitch, girl, honey, yes. That's my number, honey, okay? Play that number. You said what? Play that number. You gonna play that number? Mom, hey, um... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. I ain't got... Baby, wait, hold on. Oh, y'all can see the name, honey. But that's the last four of my social security number, 4444, honey, okay? That's the last four of mine. Hey, honey, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm here for the shit. So, um... Naima, are you around? <laughs> you go... Child Kelly still... Child Kelly still gonna go live. Baby, honey, girl. Y'all must be... You must be... Y'all must be smoking. Y'all must... I don't know. Y'all must be smoking that shit. Y'all must be smoking that shit that Yolanda gonna go... That Yolanda is smoking. Okay? That Kelly's gonna... That Kelly's still, that Kelly's gonna, uh, that Kelly's still gonna go live. Bitch, I ain't been live since last week, Monday. Bitch, okay? If I wanted to go live, bitch, I would've been went live if I wanted to go live, baby, okay? I won't be live, okay? So stop smoking that shit that Yolanda's smoking that, uh, keeps making her write those statuses that she keep writing, that you think that I'm gonna go live. People's always in my inbox asking me to go live and to do this. No, I won't be going live, bitch, Okay? It's, please, I'm not here for the shit. Boys, your ways. You say what? Ronan said 44 is your way. Baby, no, actually, my waist is a little bit bigger than a 44 mile now. Since you want to try it, okay? Baby, Naima, if you around, Naima, if you ain't at work, call in and let's talk about what happened at the, um... She's driving home. Oh, she's driving home. Okay, so we're going to wait until I email. Oh, uh, but well, maybe is Keith Ebony on the line? Uh, can we get, can we get, uh, can we get your son Prince on the line? Or maybe Brandy? I want to know who, who reported the club and got the club shut down on Friday. That was somebody yeah. called Casper, get Casper on the line. That was very petty. Mm. They got the club shut down on Friday? Mm-hmm. 
what was they doing in the club on Friday to get shut? Did the club even open before it got shut down? Don't, don't you, T-Boy. T-Boy, T-Boy, you ain't got to... T boy, you ain't gotta worry, T boy, honey. Okay, baby, that surgery, T boy, that surgery is in February, T boy, honey. By April, the swelling and everything will be down on my face, T boy, and I'll be ready for you, T boy. Okay, T boy, stop your shit, T boy, and I don't even need to. I can wait until after February, bitch, to get that surgery, T boy. I can hold off on that surgery. The breasts. It's the most important thing right now. The face you fem could be held off, T-Boy, if you want me without the fem, T-Boy. Because you don't want me, you, you don't want me without the fem, bitch. You damn sure not going to want me with the fem. So stop your shit, T-Boy. Okay. Oh, he really want to pedal you. I thought he was just playing. Oh, my God. Yeah, he really want a piece of me. He really want a piece. Battling for wrong way, right? No, we battling for face, Marcus. Oh girl. Don't wanna do that. <laughs> I can't tell I can't um read my I can't tell anybody I can't tell anybody when is my uh when is my surgery is my breast surgery, Rima. I'm not telling nobody I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go get it done. Like when I got my face done, when I got my face done, when I got my nose done, my lips done, and my cheeks done, and liposuction underneath my neck, I didn't tell anybody. I just went and had it done, and I didn't post no pictures up or anything like that. And when I came out is when I came out. I'm not one of those girls that have to show off for everybody on Facebook and let everybody know, oh, I'm going into surgery. And I'm not reading anybody, but I'm just saying, I don't have to let people know, oh, I'm going into surgery. I'm not putting up no pictures when I come out of surgery, letting the girls know that I came out of surgery and all types of things like that. When I come, when I come out, I come out. And that's it. That's how I do things, you know. So, and that's what it is. Marcus, you're on the Marcus, T-Boy says you on his side. No, he not on your side, T-Boy. <laughs> he know you playing yourself, T-Boy. I got to wait till I see what I see that night. When y'all battle? Um, we, we, April. We, we battling in April. In April? Uh-huh. Kentucky? In Florida. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. You, you going to her city to battle her? I'm going to her city and battle her. <laughs> I wouldn't trust that. I mean, you're my gang, Kelly. <laughs> Florida sticks together now. Okay, so Naima said, her Naima said, Naima said she didn't have a liquor license and the police came in and also a lot of people uh, don't use her from what I hear. Oh, so Naima, is that you saying that you was you was one of the culprits? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, uh, while we wait for Naima to call in to tell us what happened at the ball in um, Baltimore, I want to talk about something that has been going on Facebook, you know, for the last couple of months, right? And I know Yolanda's going to make a video and she's going to read me after this. But I'm tired of Yolanda every time. It's good for Yolanda to live in one of her girlfriend's hasa apartments and eat their food and shower in their house and all types of things of that nature. But then when they get tired of Yolanda and her rants, and her mental breakdowns. Then Yolanda want to put up posts about people that is HIV positive and getting these free apartments and these free grants and all types of things of that nature. Yolanda, when you was living, because he came underneath the post, so I can put his name out there because he came underneath the post today and said, but myself, Jason, and Marcus already knew what it was hidden for but when Brian Fazachi came underneath the post and verified that he could not deal with Yolanda anymore and her psychotic and 
mental breakdowns that she was having and he had to put her out we already knew that's what it was okay i'm not gonna put the other person's business out there that um you know because she never came and said anything publicly about herself or whatever so i'm not gonna put her business out there but every time yolanda get into it with one of her girlfriends that have hasa and they put yolanda out yolanda want to read the community and read people that are hiv positive it's horrible it's despicable yolanda when these people open their doors and they let you into their home and they let you sleep on their couch sleep on their floor or wherever they may let you sleep at when they feed you they let you shower in their house and do all the type of things that they let you do in their house turn tricks and do whatever you want to do in their house everything is good and everything is fine but when they get tired of your bullshit, you want to come and you want to read everybody. You want to make these posts and leave these posts up for hours, then delete the posts. Then you want to go and you want to make videos and all types of things about the situation. It's ridiculous, Yolanda. And like I told you in the video when I came and I sat down with you at Brian House, Yolanda, I think and I really urge and I encourage that Yolanda needs to sit down with a, uh, with a medical nurse and a medical nurse needs to come in and visit Yolanda every day so they can make sure that the Yolanda takes her medicine properly the way she needs to take her medicine, okay? Because when Yolanda takes her medicine properly, we don't have these outbursts. We don't have these tantrums for Yolanda. But when Yolanda is not on a steady flow of her mental medication that she's on, Yolanda has these outbursts and these rage and does these things on Facebook that's embarrassing herself and embarrassing the community that she's a part of. And I think it's horrible and I think Yolanda really needs to stop with her motherfucking bullshit, okay? Because at the end of the day, the young lady that you was living with prior was your friend. The person that you was living with prior that was on Hasa was your friend. But once they kicked you out and they got tired of your bullshit and all your shenanigans and your shit, then you want to read everybody in the community that got HIV. Yolanda, you really need to stop and you really need to seek some mental help and someone that's going to make sure that you take your medicine correctly and take the right dose of your medicine so we don't have these outbursts and maybe you need to sit down and you need to evaluate the things that's going on with you and stop going from hotel room to hotel room and from girlfriend house to girlfriend house maybe Yolanda maybe it's time for you to get your ass up and become a grown woman and take your ass to a shelter and sit in a shelter for six to eight months and get your own place so you don't have to deal with anybody's bullshit and so we don't have to deal with your outbursts and reading people that are HIV positive that's what I have to say on the Yolanda situation Jason or Marcus do y'all have anything to say on that? I mean, the only thing that I want to add to that is this. The only, the, there are a couple problems that I had. The, the biggest problem that I have right now with Barbara is that we try to justify bullshit. And we make excuses for bullshit. Oh, well, she has a mental illness. She's not on her medication. She's not this. She's not that. If I, everything that I say out my mouth, I am bipolar, and I can admit that I am bipolar and that I suffer from a mood disorder. But anything that comes out this mouth, before it reaches, before my mouth opens and it comes out, I have already thought about it in my head. So she is responsible for everything that she is saying, be it in her right mind or her wrong mind. She thought about it, she put it together, she opens her mouth, and she spewed that nasty venom out. For all those people that are such Yolanda fans, that are saying, oh, Yolanda, you so beautiful, oh, Yolanda, you are this, you, you're that, you are just as guilty as she is. And I've always said it, and I will continue to say it, the message is not in the, in the comments, but the message is in the likes. So when she made ignorant, nasty-ass posts like that, and half of you nasty, gutter-snipe, dumb-ass bitches that are liking the post, you are agreeing with what she is saying about the community that you are a part of, so you are just as guilty as she fucking is. And every time I get a chance and I see one of y'all liking it, if we weren't friends, we won't, we won't be friends because I'm going to block you because in 2017, how the fuck are we still... First of all, we need to stop saying AIDS. 
because it's no longer, it's, we need to just stop saying AIDS. It's HIV. Nobody dies from AIDS. And nobody is dying, period, unless you're just dumb, lazy, trifling, and don't want to take medication. Now, if somebody, and, and, and I'm sick of this, getting a hospital is not a come up. Getting food stamp is not a come up. It's a help. It should not, it's a help, and it should be looked at that way. Now, yes, there are girls taking advantage of the situation. Bitch, it's girls taking advantage of situations, and they got jobs. We're not going to talk about the girls that's stealing money out the register or sneaking stuff out the back door to give to their girlfriends. If somebody is in a situation that they're in, be happy for them. Maybe encourage them to do better in the situation that they're in. Okay, you got a house. Well, girl, you got a house. Well, you've been paying your rent. How about somebody get how about you go to school? Now you you got them paying your rent. Girl, go to school. Do something. Encourage them. Stop reading a bitch because they on offer. Stop reading a bitch because they got food stamps. Cause the same bitch you read about that food stamps, when that bitch goes to the market, you're gonna be the first one saying, Can you get me something? Can you lend me something? Can I get you something to eat? Because these same bitches who floors you sleeping on, these same bitches will hustle. Bitch, when you out in the cold, they're warm inside looking at you from the outside saying, Bitch, my hustle paid for this, so I can't let you in. Marcus. I totally agree with everything y'all are saying. It's, uh, you know, it's a shame that Yolanda is going through all of this. I hope she finds the help that she needs. I, I think everyone is saying it. Um, and, I, you know, I'm just going gonna, gonna to keep her in my prayers. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna keep, I'm definitely gonna keep Yolanda in my prayers, and I'm definitely gonna keep, and I'm definitely gonna keep all of those bitches that was on that post, that was liking the post, and that was agreeing with Yolanda underneath that post. I'm definitely gonna keep them in my prayers as well. You know what I learned? Let me tell you something, right? And I'm glad Nicole is up. I'm glad Nicole is up here on this live, right? Let me tell y'all something, right? For years, right, for years in this thing, you know, the girls knew about Nicole's status and everything, right? Because y'all know Nicole is open with her shit. For years, the girls knew about Nicole's status and everything before Nicole came out and told her uh, status to everybody publicly, you know, when she did her uh, her story. And so many girls read, so many girls read Nicole down, this thing, girl. Oh, you're sick, you're dying, you're this, you're that. But guess what? Nicole just turned 40 a couple of weeks ago, okay? And all of those bitches that read Nicole and told Nicole she was dying, we went and we sat at each and every one of those motherfucking bitches' motherfucking funeral, bitch, okay? And none of those bitches made it to 40, okay? They died at 35, 36, and 37 years old, and none of them made it to 40, bitch, because you know why? Because they was out here and they wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing, okay? See, everybody sits around and everybody talks about when someone passed away from HIV. No one's passes no one is passing away from HIV, okay? Everybody is passing away from complications from the HIV virus, okay? Because they're not taking care of themselves, bitch, okay? And near nine person has passed away from HIV. They have passed away from the complications from HIV, okay? Because they had pneumonia, they had another STD on top of HIV because they still wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing. They wasn't taking their medicine like they were supposed to, okay? They take their medicine on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then on Thursday and Friday, they want to get high so they don't want to take their medicine bitch and then they come back and they want to take it the next day and then your system your body is not reacting to the medicine the way your body should be reacting to the medicine because you're not taking your cocktail the way you should be taking your cocktail baby the girls are not dying from the virus the girls are dying from everything else that's coming from around it bitch because the girls ain't doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing Okay, now the bitches start doing what they supposed to be doing. Bitches can live a long motherfucking time, this thing, bitch. And I don't want to hear it from the motherfucking bitches because I told y'all, 
I've been dealing with this. I've been dealing with this for 29 motherfucking years, bitch. Okay, HIV, bitch, okay? And I know that the girls are still living, bitch. And when my mother got HIV 29 motherfucking years ago, bitch, when she was with my little brother, okay, bitch, that's when they was taking 15 and 16 pills at a motherfucking time. And that was 29 years ago, bitch, okay? And she's still here 29 years later, bitch, okay? So if she could have been here, and that's when it was, that's when it was really hidden, bitch, okay? When it was kicking down the motherfucking door and it was taking motherfuckers out left and motherfucking right, bitch. So I don't know why in this day and age, bitch, that we losing so many of our young, our young people to HIV, bitch, when we got so many older people that has had it for years, bitch, and they still here and still doing what the fuck they got to motherfucking do, bitch. I'm going to give you a prime example. Motherfucking Luna, honey, okay? Luna motherfucking con, bitch. Luna's been here for years, bitch. And I think he was like 18 or 19 years old, bitch. And Luna's in his damn near his 50s now, bitch, okay? And Luna is still pumping and living a healthy life. And you wouldn't even know that that man motherfucking had it, bitch. These young motherfuckers is running around here and they not doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing, okay? And just because the CDC, bitch, give y'all some prep and some motherfucking pep, bitch, don't mean that you can still go out here and fucking suck this thing raw, bitch, okay, because there's a whole bunch of motherfucking STDs, bitch, that you motherfuckers can get, bitch, don't just run and fuck because you want some prep and some pap, no, stop the shit, I'm just saying, we're waiting for Naeem, I'm just, wait. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, bitch, okay? bitch, prep and pap, it's not a condom, bitch, it's not. The girls really need to stop their shit. It is not a condom, bitch, okay? Chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, everything else you can still motherfucking get, bitch. But you should still be using a condom. But motherfuckers don't want to use condoms. I just don't understand why. Why? 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 Oh, I'm going to pull out. I'm going to pull out before I come. Pre-come. Pre-cum carries HIV. Pre-cum carries syphilis, gonorrhea, and all of those other STDs that come around. Pre-cum carries that. You Do you know that a woman can get pregnant from pre-cum? Oh, y'all don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not... But, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bitch. I'm just saying. And not even if you and not even if you in a committed relationship, because every relationship, just because you're committed don't mean your partner's committed, okay? You may be committed 150%. That does not mean that your partner is committed 150%. And just because you and your partner goes and get tested, Miss Thing, does not mean that y'all should still be having unpleasant protected sex because you don't know what he or she is doing mistake and if you're going to get tested with somebody and you're going to do something with someone okay bitch don't bring me no motherfucking test mistake that you don't get tested by yourself bitch we gonna go together mistake okay because bitch i don't heard stories of girls <laughs> bitch i don't made fake checks mistake bitch girl i don't heard girls make fake paperwork mistake bitch we gotta go together Let's talk about it, honey. Oh, I'm here for the shit. Let's talk, okay? Everybody that's here, you can always follow me here on this page. I'm always here for the motherfucking shit. Follow me here on this page so when I go live, you can be here for the shit. And you can always follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, bitch. Oh, I'm here for the shit. I'm going to keep it real, bitch. I'm going to keep it real with you, bitch. I just can't, bitch. Thing. I'm just, I just can't. I'm just saying. It's just my thing, Miss Thing, honey. You know, baby, you know, it is what it is, honey. I'm just saying, the phone lines are open. If anybody want to call in and talk, you know, because I hate that, you know, let me tell y'all, and I, this is another reason why I get tired of doing the radio show and I get tired of doing the lives, right? Because everybody sit here and everybody talk on the live. But nobody picks up the phone and nobody wants to call in and nobody wants to communicate and let me hear your voice and hear what you got to say. I can sit here, I can sit here and have this discussion with me and Jason and Marcus and our team on the phone by ourselves and we don't have to do this here 
That's why we have a calling number for people to call in and for y'all to communicate with us. This, and I'm, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I still continue. I could still continue to do the show because I do it for y'all. But with people not calling in and not communicating with us. It makes me not want to do it anymore. It makes me just say like, bitch, what am I paying this money for a month? I can come and sit here on live, bitch. I can come and get me another cell phone and I can call Jason and Marcus on the cell phone and we can have a conversation on the cell phone and then y'all can be here on live and just listen to us have a conversation on the phone because this is the conversation that me jason marcus and justice and whoever we decide to add into our conversation that we have when we on the phone why am i paying a hundred dollars a month for a radio show bitch and y'all don't even call into the show y'all just call in and y'all numbers is just here but nobody's not pressing one I, I'm wasting I'm wasting money, bitch. I'm wasting money, Miss Thing. Y'all know what I can do with that extra hundred dollars a month, Miss Thing? I can do a lot with that, bitch. I'm on a fixed uh, income. I don't craft. Bitch, and when I ain't got it, and when I ain't got it, bitch, when I ain't got it, I gotta call Jason and Marcus and ask them to pay for the show when I ain't got it, bitch. Okay? We can do this, bitch. I can uh I can get my Android, I can get take my Android Obama phone, bitch. And that's what I'm gonna start doing, bitch. I'm gonna just use my Android Obama phone, bitch, and I'm gonna motherfucking just sit here and go live and we're gonna talk on the phone and I'm gonna call them on the phone and I'm gonna stop paying for uh for the radio show. Cause it makes no sense to pay for it. It really don't. They said pin the number, Kelly. They said pin the number. The number is pinned. Like, you know, I want to hear feedback. I want y'all to communicate with us, Miss Thing. I want y'all to communicate, make the show live. You know, I know people call in and they joke with me from time to time and I joke with them, bitch. But I want y'all to communicate with us. I want to talk. Can we talk? Y'all remember that slogan I used to say? We get people who hate on us saying we always talking about negative stuff because they never tend to hear when we talking about positive stuff. They only hear the negative. But now that we're talking about something positive, you have you're probably not even on this live, but you're not even call, go call in. Yeah, you know, because I, I'm just such a, I'm just such a negative, I'm just such a negative, I'm just such a negative Betty. I never talk about anything positive. I never, you know, uplift the community. I'm always, I'm always trying to bring the community down. But now that I'm talking about something positive, ain't nobody here for the shit. Like, really? The no, the phone line should be lit up. Seven seven one seven eight ten. You're live on the air on Petty Mondays, a positive Petty Mondays. Seven one seven eight one zero. You're live on the air. I'm there for the show. What's the tea? What's up? What, so what's the topic that Kelly talking about? It's Petty Mondays. It's Petty Mondays. We're just talking about everything. We're first. We were talking about uh, the whole status that Yolanda put up. That every time one of her girlfriends that uh, is on Hasa open their doors and let oh, her yeah, in. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that at all. I, I I live for Yolanda, but I didn't like that shit at all. What she had to say, like just because you know you're homeless and don't come for everybody else that has a place. That you. Bitch, go ahead and get the clap like everybody else, and then go apply for housing if that's the case. Well, well, Lord, what caller? Is, is that the only way that she can get housed? No, she can do like everybody else. She can go, she can go apply for a job. No, she can go. She can go. She can go to welfare. She can go to welfare, and welfare will put her in. And welfare will put her in a shelter. And from a shelter, from you will go to the shelter. You will go to the shelter that has is an open room shelter like a jail. It's not. I'm not. It's like jail. Like how they got the dorms in jail. You'll go there first, and then you'll go to a a a a a um a, a, a temporary housing where they give you an apartment, an apartment like thing, and you got a curfew and stuff. And then you go from there to have them helping you find an apartment. It's about it's about it's about six to nine months there for you to go through that process. I feel like she's being lazy. I feel like she's being lazy right now. Like she's just being lazy. Like she can she can do whatever else do. If you really want housing, you really oh and 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 uh and Javon and Javon Martin from uh Janae's house um from the organization Janae's house, Miss Thing. He said he gave her the information. 
Yeah, he said he gave her the information. And he runs an agency. He said he gave her the information. Princess Janae House. He gave her the, a place, excuse me, place. He gave her the information. But it's no shame. She's been on Borum's theme too long. Everybody know how to make a coin. But she should be making a coin, get her a place, and she should be good. You know, I think it. I think what I think it is is uh, a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people want their own place, but a lot of people don't know how to keep their own place. Okay, a lot of people can. A lot of people can have a place, but you know they don't know how to upkeep things and how to do things. All right, and a lot of people want people. Like a lot of people are uh, in this uh, community. Want everything to be brought to them and want it to be handed to them, okay? And they don't want to get up. They don't want to get up and they don't want to do the fucking. They don't want to do the leg work. But I also think, Kelly, we need to be talking about financial responsibility. Some people can't keep a place because they don't know how to pay bills. Their parents never taught them how to. You know, it's as easy as it sounds. The bill comes in the mail. You make the money. You send it out. It's it's just not that simple. And I have learned, uh, for some reason, we, as a community, as a black community, for some, we, we have this stigma of not paying our bills on time. I've worked at Verizon Wireless. White people don't pay their bills just for the, But the difference is they'll, they'll have the common sense to pick up the phone and say, I can't pay you today. So I'm going to pay you on this day, and I'm going to pay. And, well, I need to split this up. And they actually keep their word. We right. duck and dodge. We wait till they turn you off and things like that. When sure enough, no matter the the whole world runs on credit. So I I wish there was some services where you know even in the ballroom community that we encourage each other how to be more financially literate so that we understand how to get by on the system. You know how to to get by, not you know but get over, but get by. Some people might be embarrassed to ask for help. You know what I mean? Like people need you can help. never be, you can never, you can never, you can never be embarrassed. Uh, you can never be embarrassed to ask for help, bitch. Okay, let me tell y'all something, bitch. And I'm going to tell y'all, and I, and I tell this to everybody, bitch. I'm not the, I'm not the greatest motherfucking speller, bitch, okay? And if I don't motherfucking know something, bitch, I pick up the motherfucking phone, bitch, and I call Jason. I call Marcus. I call Nicole. I call my cousin Shonda. I call Roxanne. If I need help with something and I don't know how to do it, bitch, I pick up the phone, bitch, and I'm not too ashamed. Hey, bitch for everybody to think I'm this fat bitch and I know how to do everything I don't know how to do everything bitch I pick up the phone and I call one of my girlfriends and I say bitch I smart Marcus I just emailed you over something Marcus read over it bitch and let me know what I need to fucking do I just met so many people that give very much like oh I'm too sad to ask for help I'm just gonna try to make it on my own I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And I'm like, no, my nigga, like, if you need help, ask for help. Like, that's what friends are for. What's the point of you having a boardroom house? What's the point of you having a gay father? Like, if you can't ask them for help, then what's the point? Kelly, I'm going to call right back into the show. In a few okay. Minutes. Thank you, Carla. Um, cause we got a whole bunch of people. We have a whole bunch of people now. Thank you. Press one and take your hand down, baby. The next caller we have is 443-852. You're live on the air. Good evening, Kelly. And Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Um, I want to make two statements. First statement is Yolanda is a psychopath and she must be stopped. The end. Second statement is I actually want to thank you because when I first got out of prison myself, I was introduced to the Marlon scene via Marlon Goldback. Actually, you. Um, so I had never been involved the trans community at all. In fact, I was kind of scared to even interact with a trans woman just because it was taboo to me. So I want to say thank you, and I see that it's more to you than the aftermath and all of that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you, for, thank you so much. Press one and take your hand down. Marcus, you're back, Marcus. Okay, the next caller. Hey, the... I want caller. Uh, how can the gay can't be embarrassed? How can they be embarrassed to ask for help? They're not embarrassed to ask where the friends at, who got that K, where the party at, who fucking raw. If they're not embarrassed to ask that shit, they shouldn't be embarrassed to ask for help. The next caller we have is what we have is two oh five two oh five four three six. You're live on the air. 
Yes, you're live on the air. Hello? How are you? I'm doing fine in yourself. Hey, Kelly, how you doing, baby? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, hello? Yeah, you there. I'm doing good. Um, I don't really know what's going on. I just be watching your live and stuff like that. But uh, from what I've been hearing and what I see, she is steady. Okay, thank you, caller. And take your hand down, caller. The next call I have is five seven zero two two four. You're live on the air. Hello. Yes, you're live on the air. Hi. Okay. So I have a calling statement, and I have a question. First, the question: What happened to Christina? Christina Tsunami. And she's one of the girls that I lived for, and I still do. We don't know what happened to Christina. Okay. I've been trying to find out by many people. I love her. It's ten o'clock. A statement. Oh God. Um, I want to. I want to say as white, um, as fights and stuff like that. I'm not right. that type of girl. Okay. Is this guy? Is this? <laughs> what? Is this? What? Is that the one? The other girl? Who is this? Hello? Who's the Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes. I'm 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 Dylan. I've been I've been Vogan for I'm Dylan, I'm a Vogar. Yes. And I've been voguing for three years now. I have not walked a day. Oh, oh somebody else show. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with them. Okay. Okay, thank you, caller. Can you press one and take your hand down? The next caller we have is 917-815. You're live on the air on Petty Mondays. Um, I just wanted to say two things. Are we going to have a little moment of silence for Della Reese? Because I did hear on the TV that she died today, that lady, that black actress. Della Reese. Really? You have to say black actress Della Reese? At this day and age, at this day and age, uh, everybody should know. Everybody should want to know their status. Okay, baby. At this day and age, all the girls should be getting tested. There's no reason why at every ball that you go to, whether it's a mainstream ball or it's a kiki ball, that they have uh, testing available for you to get into balls for free, into everything for you to get tested, for you to know your status. I don't understand. I, it's no. It's no reason. Let me tell you something, right? It is no reason why anyone should not want to go get tested. Whether it's a black organization, whether it's a white organization, the girls should go and know their status, okay? No one at any agency is going to be able to tell your business, okay? They are bound by the HIPAA law, baby, okay? Baby, nobody wants to lose their license. Nobody wants to get a $1,000 fine on top of losing their license for telling your status. So why are you girls scared to go out here and get tested? And if you don't want to get tested at these agencies, it's plenty of doctor's office and plenty of places that the girls are not affiliated with that the girls can go and get tested at. 
That's bullshit that the girls don't want to know their status. Okay? Everybody keeps talking about the girls are so scared to go and get tested. No! You scared to go get tested, but you ain't scared to take that dick raw. You ain't scared to motherfucking get fucked in your ass raw. You ain't scared to suck that dick, bitch, but you scared to go get tested. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay, now... 917-917-8185. Take your hand down, please. Okay? You could go, like they just said, you could go to CBS, go to Dwayne Reed, and get a home testing and test yourself at home. Bitch, okay? You bitches running around here, you robbing these motherfucking dates and turning all these dates and these coins and getting these bags and getting all this surge, bitch. You could go and spend $50, bitch, and get you a home test and test yourself at home. Okay. 908. You worried about somebody, and if you worried about somebody seeing you there, the fact that they seeing you there, they there. Since they're reading, since they're reading, you done reading them. Oh, and I, and I hate when the girls say that. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go into that place, baby, because someone might see me in that place. If you see them in that place, they see you in that place. They doing the same motherfucking thing you doing. 908-884, you're live on the air on a positive Petty Mondays. Hello? Yes, you're live on the air. This is Kimberly Akbar. How are you doing? I'm doing fine in yourself. Yes, um, I just want to say that this is a great platform for you, Miss Kelly, and tonight you are serving up some kids. I had to sit down About, you're definitely right about that. But oh, that caller call drop. The next caller that we have is thank you, caller, for definitely calling in that caller call drop. The next caller we have is 929 248. You're live on the air on a positive Petty Mondays. What's going on, Kelly? It's Jeff Petty, sister Dana. Hey, Dana. Um, I'm gonna jump on this shit. I'm gonna jump on this shit about Yolanda first. Okay. The reason why Yolanda's mouth runs so fucking much is because the girls that know her from the past won't um, bring up the skeleton. I'll bring up a skeleton. The bitch is positive. She's been positive since motherfucking 19, motherfucking 
96. How do I know? Because my girlfriend, Jalissa, was murdered in 96. All because of Yolanda and if Nicole ever spoke about it, she talked about it too. But we all know in your age. Ain't nothing wrong with the child. He comes from an almost good home. His mouth has always been sassy. Point and simple. He's a nasty person. Period. I'm not gonna call her. I'm him or her. I'm not gonna get any transgender love, nothing like that, because you act like a total outlandish, stereotypical homo. I mean, who uses the, the gay shit, the, 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 the hasta shit, who are read anymore? I mean, who does that? That's so fucking petty and so fucking petty. You know what I'm saying? And, and it takes a young-minded person to still continue to do some shit like that when you got a motherfucking babble hanging over your head. Mm. Jesus, take the wheel. Don't mm -hmm. mm -hmm. call me a cab. Uh, thank you, Dana, for definitely... Been sleeping on couches since the early 90s. She actually started off in this girl named Katrina's house when she was like 13, 14 years old, fucking her brother named Gary. Oh my God. Then Gary beat her motherfucking ass because she started getting too loose with her mouth. So she moved, you no, know, I saved her and took her to my cousin Polo's house, God rest his soul, where she did a whole lot of strange things. And she was fucking with Max Mizrahi. After catching her doing the trying to do dirty deeds other places, she got the shit knocked out of her and sent on her way. Sanaya picked her up and tried to make her a person. Years later, she's talking about Sanaya like a dog. Everybody that has tried to do something to help that child has gotten bred by that child. Everybody that goes up in their sister, mother, cousin, best friend, and offered a helping hand has had that hand bitten repeatedly. And even when you forgive her, she still do the same shit again and again and again. She's a pariah. Simple and plain. Mm. Oh, baby. Woo. I need a drink on that. Mm. Anyone Jesus. have any questions? I knew somebody was going to dig a skeleton up one of these days. I knew somebody had a skeleton or a bone. Now let the rest I mean, of the bones Everybody bone has a skeleton. Nobody just wants to throw him out because she's bad, Yolanda, good on. She's bad, Yolanda, this. She's bad, Yolanda, that. Little boy. Little boy. I have been desired for many a day. And I will be a desire for a many a night. And when the girls tried to push me in the motherfucking ground, guess what? Just like Kelly said, but I, I can attest to it too, I have watched the ships roll in, and I have watched the ships roll out. And everybody that has put the word on me is in the motherfucking ground, darling. Ground to the ground, ground, ground. Well, there you have. How about the shitty deal she used to get the boys on motherfucking douche? Okay, in the Brooklyn apartment on Nickelodeon Avenue. Oh. Katrina, are you on the line? Let's talk about Nickelodeon. Okay, so we can bring back the fact that she shitted all over that boy's dick in, in Brooklyn. Yes, before she got the bad body and started fucking on Lesbian's girlfriend. Girl, <laughs> Jesus take the old way, girl, Jesus take the, oh, Jesus take the will, honey, girl, bitch, oh my God, girl, wait, hold on, girl, honey, oh, Lord, girl, I said this, I said this was no drink November, but bitch, I'm about to fix me a glass of shot right now, girl, Jesus Ooh. take the will, Bitch! Oh, 
was born. Jesus. Girl. Lord, hold on. Hold on. Lord. I think we need to take a commercial break and we be right there. You made me go put on a wig, girl, honey, okay? Bitch, you made a bitch put on a wig, girl, honey, okay? A bitch had to put on a hat, bitch. Girl, Jesus, take the, I had to go put my Mary on, bitch, okay? You made a bitch put a wig on, bitch, okay? Bitch, honey. Hashtag Mary J, honey. Hashtag, what's the 411, honey, okay? Hashtag, what's the 411, honey? She made me go put on my Mary J. Oh, no. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Man, she made me go put the Mary on, bitch. I had to put the Mary on, bitch, okay? Bitch, I ain't bust she out in a minute, bitch. Oh, I had to put the Mary on, bitch, okay? Hashtag, what's the 411, honey, okay? Bitch, hold on, hold on. We got a bunch of callers, but you stay right there. You stay right there, honey. Desire, honey. 347-918. You're live on the air on what was supposed to be a positive Petty Mondays. Uh, I thought it was positive for Petty Monday, and so um, everybody just got so excited off the um, somewhat accurate team that Josiah said here still. But she felt to mention that Yolanda, she beat Yolanda up, and that she was a part of Yolanda's trauma because of the boy named Aaron that used to live in the Polo Grounds, uh, Kelly. Ooh, oh, I just so, seen, I just seen Aaron the other day at the corner store. Because the joint desire was going with, and Yolanda came to the polo um, polo house at a young age, sleeping around with all the boys and everything. And in that time, and from that time, Yolanda had not diagnosed positive, and that's why she goes through that. But the desire was one of the first girls that taught Yolanda lessons in terror. Am I right, desire? Yes, I was. I am not gonna lie. Wait, wait, wait. I am not gonna lie. And um, the reason for you attacking her was because Cameron was living for her and you thought that they were playing around like they was having something and you beat her in the street and beat her with a wig and you didn't know that she was the guy. I didn't catch the last slide. You didn't know that she was um, in drag. You didn't know that was the guy. When you was attacking her, you thought it was a little girl. No, that's not true. I knew she was a boy. I bet being you first. Okay, okay. So yes, I did, and I also knew that she tried to stop Cameron's dick. That's why she got beat. Yes, I gave her lessons in terror. I gave her lessons in horror. Okay. All right. Well, I just so I see you was talking about you know the trauma. You just I wanted to make sure you you shared the part that you was the one who really took left on her because she came through serving and she started playing with the boy Aaron who you was having because you used to always bring the boy. The shade of it all. Baby. Okay, Desire number. Desire, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Oh, Nicole number has dropped. Okay, Desire, we're going to put you back on hold and we're going to take a few more callers, okay? Press yes, one, sir. press one and take your hand down. The next caller that we have, Marcus, you're back. The next caller we have is 917-631. You're live on the air with what's supposed to be a 
a positive Petty Monday, but it seemed like we got real petty and the girls are here for the shit. What's up? What's up, Mrs. Neptune? What's up, Kelly? Hey, Neptune! What's going on? Hey, hi. So, um, I was living for that last caller. Uh, Mrs. Neptune, Desire. Yes, pull out the bones on this thing because my question has always been is she's grown up with all the New York girls. Somebody has to know something. But it's just like everybody that does know of her is protecting her for whatever reason. It's always like that repeated excuse of the mental health thing, the mental health. That's been around before her. It's going to be around after her. If that's the issue, that's the issue. But it seems like it only comes up in our quote-unquote community when she does something crazy. And then that's the excuse that we give. And I've been saying this years ago when she's done this shit like and we've talked about it on the radio before like i have no sympathy for her like losing people to that you know complications of the virus or whatever my loyalty lies with them so somebody that says some shit that's that ignorant it's a moral thing you know what i'm saying and like i have no respect for that like it ain't no more i live for yolanda it's none of that will ever come out of my mouth like i don't see how it's still flow so easily out of people's mouths like what the fuck does she do for y'all like she can prioritize just like everybody else has to struggle and prioritize but she'd rather get a blunt smoke be with her girlfriend be on live get bundles that shit is meaningless if you don't have no place to stay so all of those are just excuses you know what i'm saying everybody has to hustle and be on their grind and then back to the caller a while ago a while ago when he was talking about the girls being scared to go get tested, that really didn't have none of the fuck to do with what we were talking about, one. And then the caller before that that brought up, where's Christina been? That's my gay mother. She had a little issues with her demons, and she's taking time to handle that. But I couldn't tell if the caller was so serious because he called in with that dumbass voice that they be calling in when they are just, like, playing around. So I was waiting to read the shit out of him if he really went left field. But, uh, but yeah, I'm glad somebody is dragging out the bones because that bitch needs to be humbled in the worst way. Like, so I would just say to the girl, stop protecting her. Stop living for her because she's not doing shit for y'all. You know what I'm saying? She's not a pillar to this community. I don't give a fuck if she was voguing since 92. That doesn't do shit for, you know, helping our younger kids get anywhere. And that's not teaching them nothing in life. So... Let's stop making excuses for 2018, start early, and let this bitch be responsible for what the fuck she need to be responsible for. Thank you, Neptune. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Neptune, press one and take your hand down. I'm going to come to the other nine callers that we have. But yes, okay, Brooklyn Mona came on, okay? It's a petty Monday, it's okay? Brooklyn Mona, I started this live and I wasn't here for the shit, okay? Brooklyn Mona came on and she read me, bitch. And I went and put a little dust on, honey, okay? And I had my dust with my Tarnisha on, honey. That's what I call my, tar my turban. I call my turban Tarnisha, okay? And the desire came on here with fire and desire, baby! And she made me go get my Mary Jane. What's the 411, honey, okay? I had to put my Mary J on, honey, because Desire came through here with the fire, okay? And the next caller we have is 216-965. You're live on the air on what should have been a positive Monday. Caller, you got to turn your live down. You got to turn your live down. 216-965. You got to turn your live down. Let's go. Hello? Yes, you're live on the air. Okay, so this, what I'm talking about, ain't got shit to do with Yolanda. This has got to do with what I heard on Facebook earlier today. I saw this picture today about... There was a two, two gay men with a child. And one of my girlfriends had put on there like, yo, like, what do you think about this? So, of course, there was like an array of comments or like people saying that they, you know, oh, this is, you know, that's cute or whatever. 
But Kelly, I just want to know what's your what's your do you think that a child having two gay parents affects like their sexuality in the future? No, I don't think I don't think a child that's raised by two uh two homosexual men or two lesbian women is going to affect their outcome on their uh their sexuality preference, okay? Uh a child uh normally a child is born this way, okay? No one is just like, you know, one day I'm just I've decided that I'm going to do this cuz I see somebody doing this, okay? If someone's going to do something, someone's going to do something out their own out their own mind and out their own free will. No one can determine exactly how you're going to be and how you're going to be uh how what your sexuality preference is going to be. The only thing they can do is raise you to the best of their ability. So I don't know why people are so gun ho on oh gay people shouldn't raise children. Baby, all of us gay people that's running around here came from you straight people that's running around. All you straight people are running around here y'all fucking and y'all sucking and doing everything that y'all doing and y'all making all of these homosexuals y'all making all of these transgender women y'all making all of these lesbian women y'all making all of these trans men women so what should we ban straight people from having sex because the straight people are the one that's making us I'm just saying. That's just that's just, that's just my take on it, Carla. Okay. Can I, can I read you the comment that I put on it? Yeah. Uh, Go it, ahead. Like, have a lot to do with what you just Go ahead, we listen in. Go ahead and read it. Oh, okay. So I have I put like like I like I didn't I didn't understand like why that had anything to do with how a child was gonna turn out and their 